firewall, if it's a physical firewall, install it between your modem and router. A modem gives you access to the internet. Your router connects devices to give you that access. Then you say if it's software, install it on your computer and configure it within your router settings. We've already discussed the settings, how to configure your firewall. Assess the firewall settings and customize it. Define basic firewall rules such as allow or block specific types of traffic. He has done all that, but this is the guideline that you're supposed to follow. That's why I'm showing you all this. Sorry. Local area network. That's it's around and uh, the kind of firewall you set around your home. Then we have what we call wide area network. That's uh, beyond your home. That's basically the type that gives you access to the internet to a wider range of, gives you a wider range access. Then we have a uh, network ranges. Uh, okay, sorry, that's what I just discussed. So in, uh, in setting up your firewall, enable logging and monitoring. Logs are like, uh, if you go to some estates, you're allowed or you're, you're, you're made to write down your name, who you're visiting, the time you're entering, and uh, when you're going out, you update your time. That's what logging and monitoring does. So you know when a particular service is trying to assess your system with respect to your set rules, the firewall. So when your firewall blocks that access or blocks that traffic, this, if it's enabled, it lets you know this is what this service or this app is trying to do, was trying to do, but they have blocked it for you. Access to certain services enable intrusion prevention to detect and block suspicious activity. He's already done that. He has shown you how to do it. Configure network objects. Define IP address, host names, and network ranges. Now, IP address are uh, specific numerical values attached to a device that gives you access to the internet. Then the host name, it's like uh, a readable name. It's like your contact, your phone, uh, phone numbers, the phone numbers you collect. Most of us, we don't just leave the numbers there. We save it against a name. The domain name, the host name serves as, as that. Then we have network ranges. 